Now, the other day they had Chris Osborne doing the jump. <laughs> so today they got some some length again. Underway. I think Charisma has hops, but I don't know if she's going to beat Bella Murakatete in a jump ball. Exactly. Early foul already. Foul I think it's just is on Villa. I think it's just getting over that screen. She's got the tough assignment of guarding London Jones. Rice going hard to the bucket. I like that early from Rice, staying aggressive and going right at Charlize Ledger Walker. She just kind of let her go, didn't want to pick up an early foul. We're critical, obviously, right? So you know who you can test early. And Ledger Walker has to be on the floor for all 40 minutes. Trying to get the ball inside. Scrappy. You really need her on the floor if you're Washington State. She wisely backs up, but gets... Kiki Rice with two points early. Yeah, I misspoke. The ball, obviously, to the Cougs. Little floater coming in. That's Villa. Whoa, it's raining already from three. So early shots are falling, quite unlike Friday. Both teams able to hit the little floaters and the three. So it looks like their offense is on a good point early. Yeah, it's funny. I was thinking the same thing after two made buckets. I was thinking already looks better. Bella Murakatete inside. That's something we're going to be watching today. Can the Bruins slow her down? Dugalic. Strong spin move. No good. That was just really good defense by Beyonce B. Didn't get, didn't overplay to the middle and kind of took away that ability for Dugalic to spin back to the baseline. Yeah, rebound, uh, Washington State was out-rebounded the other day. They had 28, SC 43. Offensive rebounds, they had two for the entire game. There's one right now. Well, I think they probably, it was a point of emphasis to just stay more aggressive maybe in their practice yesterday. Shot clock at six. Beautiful move inside and finish. That's Beyonce B. Osborne, no good. The mismatch of having a smaller Charisma Osborne on your guard. Just a strong move by Murica Tete. Denied by Alex Colville. She was a difference maker versus USC. London Jones. Trying to squeeze through travel. Alex Koval making her presence felt early. Dugalich coming out, just no room at all. Gets that shot blocked. Alex Colville had 12 minutes the other day versus USC. And Cammy after said, we need to get more minutes for her. London Jones, she only needs a little space. She only needs a little. You got that right. And she is a she is great at recognizing where the defense is. Charlize Ledger Walker, nice spin move. Love that move by her. The ability for her to transition into her post offense is another weapon that she has. Taking a guard down and just hitting that nice little fadeaway is a special weapon that she has. Kiki Wright's coming around off. Iwala looking. She's got Koval in front. Knew it was going to take a little extra length and got it. Iwala really getting comfortable in there tonight. Typically, she probably would have looked to pass that out, but takes a deep breath and just takes it right at Koval. I really like that move. Yeah, I do too. Because I, I agree with you. That would have been passed off in the past. This time, she measured up Koval. She's hitting early and making great defensive moves. Rebound strong from Dugalich. Dugalich with a beautiful putback. And that was something that Corey Close said she needed more out of Dugalich. No standing and watching, going in and being really aggressive on the offensive rebounds, and she did just that. But able to get that putback, it gives UCLA some much-needed scoring. Inside, all of a sudden, there was a lane for Villa. 
And again, Dugalich coming up with the defensive rebound. No second chances. Beautiful. Exactly what we talked about. Absolutely nasty from London Jones to Iwala. Love that by London Jones. She's such a great shooter, but the ability to pass is a compliment to that. You've got the defense really honing in on you. Nice little dish to Iwala who finishes. Bella Murakatete away from the basket finishes. It's amazing to me the growth that Murakatete has shown through her years at Wazoo. The ability to hit that shot just kind of culminates in, you know, just at all the work she's put in. Hawkes works so hard for that bucket. What? A turnaround for UCLA looking crisp to start this game. Well, Hawke is such a gritty player. Does not give up on the first or second try. Uses that step through beautifully. Bella Mercatete, come get me twice now with the same shot. Foul was on Jenna Villa. Feed inside, it'll happen. Fourth well, turnover for UCLA. I think that Muse probably falls into the same category as Iwala. You've got a freshman coming in. Beautiful three. Hawkes driving around, goes against Murakatete, denied. The posts for Wazoo are just so long. Bella Murakatete reads this the whole way, and there's no way Hawkes is going to get over that that outstretched arm of Murakatete. Six seconds on the shot clock. Kiki Wright's going to have to take the shot up under. Wow. Beautiful. Highlight read. reel. Yes, beautiful read by Kiki Rice. Smart move by Amanda Muse. Goes over and sets the screen. And Kiki Rice reads it. What a first quarter of action. I love you just saw in the graphic there uh, a block, a steal. She's also got an assist. No rebounds for Murakatete yet. Everything else happening. London Jones. It's not just a three. It's a three from way downtown. From the Owen Wooden, I think. She uh, she really has the ability to step out deep and score. It's so much fun to watch. Ball up from the top of the key. No good, but great work by Murakatete. Deflecting it back for another chance. Charlize using Murakatete's screen, knocking it down. Google each with Charlize Ledger Walker behind her. Great defense by Ledger Walker to stop that shot. Her versatility at the perimeter position is so important. Denied by Osborne. Shot clock at 22. Villa inside. Bella Mercatete with Dugalich. That's the third floater. This one a little closer than the other. She's looking so strong. Ten points for Bella Mercatete. You could tell she's on a mission. She had a great game in the Pac-12 championship against the Bruins, and she's picking up where she left off. Sontag saw the opening. What a great move by Dugalich back. Here's Sontag. Gardner. Hard work. You see that move again by Murica Tete. Takes her time. Slow is fast in the post. Just uses that pump fake. And she's just like, ooh, it's so pretty. I'm <laughs> working on that baby hook. It's so nice. Holding that hand up. Sontag trying to back up. And again, Murica Tete just changing what people do. Making them uncomfortable. Washington State looking to extend their lead. Ledger Walker coming around, Dugalich, and in there is a foul. 
pay attention to how she gets her body in front of Jaquez at the very last minute. That is what makes all the difference in turning that from a potential block shot into an and one. Charlize Ledger Walker to the strike. London Jones looks at it, picks it back out, and just, just mishandled. I think Cameron Brown just not quite ready for it, and then they were sworn on the same page on the pass to Kiki Rice. Passing of Washington State leads to a beautiful Villa bucket. UCLA needs a bucket. They're 0 for their last five. Haven't scored in four minutes. London Jones is going to make that right. Charlize drops it off to Colville. There's my Osborne going for the seal on that. Here's Charlize. Just got a really nice offensive rhythm today. We don't typically see her running the one. And Izzy Anstey also not in for UCLA, so... Two big bodies, and that's where you're getting Amanda Muse in, Christine Iwala, who's doing a great job. Wallach, Dugalich goes to help. Wallach with a bucket, her first of the day. Tara Wallach, just so special from the outside, just saw her defense just raise up a little bit, takes it right to the basket. UCLA has turned it over seven times in this first half. London Jones is just a menace out there on ball. She's just fantastic to watch. Oh, Miss dribbled. Charlie Sledger Walker picks it back up. I think it went off the back of her feet. And LA Villa finishes. That really was a very tough shot by LA Villa. There was a scramble. Everything is high intensity with, with her ability to slow it down. Was that tremendous is a from the freshman. Well played basketball game in this first half. LA Villa from Italy, and so she naturally has a little bit more of that poise from playing with professionals as a youth. But you see, there was the scramble. She's got people flying at her, but takes her time and knocks down that little floater. A 17 to two run over the last five and a half minutes for Washington State. And don't look now, but Bella Murakatete is back in the game. Yeah. Wallach back to Murakatete. Christine Iwala tasked with slowing her down. Murakatete. Beautiful. And she is just talking all kinds of smack, I think, to the fans, to the other bench. <laughs> A 19 to 2 run. Iwala that time strong. I move. love that really strong move to the basket. Charisma Osborne and Charlize Ledger Walker just game within the game. And Walker knocking down another one. She has 14 first half points. Ledger Walker and Murica Tete just all smile and I really would love to see them go a little bit to Charisma Osborne to close out this quarter. She usually is the one that steps up and kind of gives them their scoring when they're in a little bit of a drought. Washington State, 67% shooting from the field. Here's Charisma Osborne, exactly as you asked, on a platter and in. I think um, I have a pipe into UCLA's bench. Not really, just kidding. But that was what she provides. She always knows when to kind of step up. Her team needs scoring. Iwala fouls Murakatete. And with her length, she has the ability to really finish and get open. Looks like it was going to end up Washington State ball. Kiki Rice coast to coast. Nice. Love that. You see your big scores and your leaders for UCLA stepping up. You had Charisma Osborne and now Kiki Rice. They're going to need to really step up to close out this half. Villa. No good. 
And Charisma Osborne going to try to take over, gets that rebound. Too much foul trouble. Dugleach with two, Iwala with one, Cameron Brown comes in. Wallach knocking down her free throws. Washington State doing everything right. They really are. They're past, they're finding people open, they're hitting their threes, they're defending causing well. turnovers. Yeah, exactly. They're defending well. I think control is a great word. Just hit Washington State looking in control. Murica Tete. Back out to Villa. Villa. Mid range. Gorgeous. And that's another thing that having Charlize Ledger Walker with the ball, it opens things up for Villa. She really has stepped up the freshman and hit a couple of those little mid range floaters and jumpers. Taken away. Charisma Osborne puts on another jet for Charlize Ledger Walker. Just so smart with the basketball, recognizes the defense was coming. She didn't have anything and pulls it out. Five seconds remaining, gets it inside to Bella Murga Tete. And the half expires. Washington State hitting five of their last six. Can Washington State add to it? Washington took down at USC. Now some balls not wanting to sit down for UCLA. Well, and it'll be important. Washington State shooting such a high percentage in that first half. It'll be important for them to keep that going because sometimes when you shoot a high percentage, if your start shot stops falling in the second in the like second half, then it can start to mess your rhythm up. Kiki Rice with a little shimmy and shake, not sit down. Pushing pace, big time. Uh-oh. Ledger Walker reaching down for her right lower leg. <laughs> oh. See that right leg just kind of twist and contort as she lands on it. They were running Charlize a lot at the one this game, but usually L.A. Villa has been kind of the one to handle those responsibilities, and I think it'll just be important for them, as much as they're worried about their teammates, to really kind of lock in and stay focused on the task at hand and continue the momentum that they've been building throughout this whole first half. Jenna Villa does the work from the free throw line. UCLA still hasn't been to the strike. And then keep a note at 32 to 50, Ledger Walker out. And we'll see what UCLA is able to do in her absence or what the other Cougars are able to do. That was an offensive foul. Wallach inside to Murica Tete. Kiki Rice going for it. Wallach thought about it. I mean, just weaving through the cones. I thought it was on Hawkins. Looking at Hawkins' face, I thought it was on contact. But you're right, it was on contact. Tara Wallach at the line. She's going to need to step up big. Senior, not really senior, but your upperclassmen leaders are going to need to be the ones to carry the load. And one. For the and one, gets to the free throw line. First time a Bruin has been to the free throw line in this game. She makes the most of it. Villa stepped out of bounds. They're not the number two team in the country for nothing. They have a lot of weapons. They can shoot the three extremely well. They can get to the free throw line. Osborne fades back and knocks it down.
Dugalic. She really got up on that, didn't she? Ten seconds on the clock. Quick catch and shoot. Wallach. Dugalic coming to help. Bruins defense is so locked in. And Murica Tete will shoot. Outscores opponents in the third quarter. It's actually 120 points that they outscore teams by. So whatever Corey Close says at halftime is usually pretty effective. Washington State, though, obviously coming out. No let up. No relaxing. Murga Tete trying to get some room with London Jones in front of her. I don't think London Jones gives anyone very much room when she's on the defensive end. Quick catch, shoot, another dagger. Hey, I don't care if I'm just a freshman. I'm going to knock this down. You leave me open. London Jones, nice pass inside to Iwala. Murga Tete will go back to the line. If you can get your post some buckets, it's going to open things up for you. Make it rain from London Town. She draws the contact, but then still has the strength to kind of separate and get her shot off at the same time. And you say a nice three for three. Shot clock is at ten. Washington State looking. Can they find a look? Wallach travels. For the Bruins, of course, key to convert, to stop and convert. And it's raining again in London. Washington State has had four turnovers this quarter after none in the second. That's that defense that we were talking about. And you can see it there. Carissa Osborne's defense making America Tete uncomfortable. Especially being down two post players in this game. Bruins are quietly chipping away at that lead that was once 20 points. Quick to America Tete. Kiki Rice tries to come in, and it's another Murica Tete block. And that time, Rice came back. Murica Tete will pick up the foul. Catching Murica Tete, so she'll go back to the line again. It's really such a difference maker that not only does she get to the line, but she shoots a very high percentage. Fouled the shooter. We've seen her score, but even without the ball, we will get three shots. And UCLA, part of the way they chipped away at that 20 point lead, seven for seven from the line in the third quarter. It's important to remember Washington State has the lead. They don't have to force anything, so they need to make sure to take care of the basketball. Beautiful by Kiki Rice. Loop to loop, I think, is a perfect word for it that you said. Is just that's what allows her to make that shot. You can really see the Bruins. Oh, beautiful three from LA Villa. Great read by her. London Jones going under the screen. Trading threes. London Jones says, right back at you. I'm the three point shooter. No foul. And what a third quarter by... So, 12 points, fourth quarter. Let's see if Washington State can hang on and make it three big upsets in the Pac-12 today. Villa, drive inside. And there's a foul, and I believe it's Osborne. Just trying to stay with L.A. Villa. Dougal H. No dice. London Jones read it the whole way, though. And I love that rebound. It's important because it's going to get another opportunity for the Bruins off of London Jones's hustle. It really is. UCLA pressure. 
fantastic job today, but when the game is coming down to the wire and she's getting trapped, you would love to have your senior to be able to pass it to. Sontag trying to get inside to Dugalich, and she does. This moment without Murica Tete on the floor. UCLA taking advantage of Murica Tete being out of the game. Going right into Dugalich. Nice pass by Sontag. Feeding her post partner, and Dugalich able to get the nice little roll over the rim. The lead that was 20 now cut to 10. Hand it off to Osborne. Bruins are hunting and London Jones. That's her fifth. Gardner looking for a spot. Block from Sontag. And it's not going to be called as a block. She must have got her with the lower body coming over that help defense. Just a little bit too much. I think with the body or with the, the low, clearly not the upper. Really important free throws from Wallach. They have been a little bit off balance offensively, so it's nice for them to get to the free throw line and get some easy ones. They haven't made a bucket in uh, this Porter, are you serious? I thought that was another one going down from way downtown. I mean, she's so far beyond the three-point line when she shoots. Right, but I think it's kind of like Steph Curry, where she works on those shots. When oh, you're yeah. a little shorter, you have to get further out. Yep. And, you know, she spends time. She's not just pulling them and has never shot them before. Oh, no, she is definitely not, and we've seen it time and time again. Wallach thought about it. But Charisma Osborne and the foul. I just really can't tell you how huge these free throws are. She has a chance to extend the lead back to 10. And it's really where the majority of her scoring is coming from. Only has one field goal in the game, but is now 8 for 8 in free throws. Dugalich. All of UCLA's unconscious or made a field goal in this quarter. If you're Angela Dugalich, you really want that play back, and you've got to focus in on making your layups. London Jones. I think everybody holds their breath every time London launches it. Gardner's all alone. Oh, whoa. Looks bad, but it really was a foul on London Jones. That one looks good. Eight points. More than five and a half minutes left. Shutting it down. Dugalich coming up clutch with these two big threes. And I'm making up for that missed layup earlier. Gardner no good. Gardner comes back in, heads up for that bucket. Now, Washington State needs to pay attention right to their perimeter defense at this point. Foul. You rise six for six from the free throw line in this game. Makes the back half of it. It's a fantastic. Lauren Betts unavailable today. Is Yancey also unavailable today for the Bruins? And that's one that Washington State needed. Without Beyonce on the floor, what does that do to Washington State? Now you're without Beyonce and Charlie's Ledger Walker. Well, I think Beyonce has really made her stamp on this game defensively, and so it puts a little bit more pressure on Marika Tete and Tara Wallach to really pick up the slack in the post defense. Kiki Rice, beautiful dish. Charisma Osborne, born for this. That focus of Charisma Osborne. Tara Wallach was flying out at her. 
Four minutes, four point game. Foul against Dugalich, that'll be her fourth. Great opportunity for them to score and get a couple points on the board to kind of stave off this UCLA run. And Tara Wallach, 10 points from the free throw line. Well, and you said it, if Dugalich goes out, usually Cameron Brown is the one that comes in and they will sag off of her defensively. Charisma Osborne inside, outside. Four players in double figure scoring for each of these teams. Villa, that's a big time bucket by the freshman. For Dugalich. Gonna dig it off the mark as soon as it leaves the hands. Big rebound. Wallach got Cameron Brown on her. Pressure from the Bruins. Cam Brown staying with Wallach the whole way, making it very difficult. Yeah, she's only had one made field goal. Wallet. Kiki Rice is going to get an and one off Murica Tete. Seven of eight from the free throw line. Gotten there more than anybody else. In fact, only one other Bruin has been to the strike today. L.A. Villa. Is Washington State rushing the shot, Milana? They have the lead. 100%. It's almost as if they're forgetting the fact that they are winning this ball game. Well, I think it makes a difference. Lauren Betts is a huge part of what UCLA does, but it's not their their point guard, their yeah. leader. It's not, say, a Charisma Osborne. Or a Charlie Ledger Walker. Exactly. What beautiful ball movement by the Cougars. Well, they always tell you a press equals a layup if you break it right. And you saw that on that play by Washington State. Mid-range. It's really important that Washington State takes their time. Only a four-point lead. He's finished inside. They just need to make sure don't turn it over and then get to the free throw line and make your free throw. There's Charlize Ledger Walker out in the second half. Critical free throws by L.A. Villa. Under a minute remaining. Bryce pushing hard. Kiki Rice and one again. Who doesn't hurt you as much? But when you give up a chance at a three-point play off of a two-point shot, that's what you really don't want to do. And, you know, credit Kiki Rice for ripping and going, seeing the defense kind of playing off. Both Cougar defenders looked like they were trying to avoid a foul but wound up picking up a foul anyway. Three-point game. 39 seconds left. It'll be important for them to get a score here, but to get it as far deep into the shot clock as possible. Absolutely. And Wallach was fouled. They've been in situations like this before. They're a little bit more poised. They played in Poly Pavilion. Wallach gathers herself. Well, and those 17 points by Ledger Walker were almost all done in that first half so imagine what she would do if she was in this game the full game foul is on jenna villa barely any time clicked off the clock and now osborne has a chance to cut the lead to two osborne money from the line and they're going to set la villa can Washington State do the same? They have led for 36 minutes of this game. Well, 
Well, in 24 seconds doesn't seem like a long time, but in basketball time, that is an eternity. Critical. That shot, right? We're back up to three. Don't foul. Nothing but net. The so same thing here if you're Washington State. You don't want to turn the ball over. And just hang on to it at this point. It's a one-point game. Washington State has been leading since then. Well, trying to get there, and Rice on her. They foul Murica Tete and send her to the line. She's four for six today from the free throw line. Senior. Murica Tete, a game or two, eh? 18 points today, seven rebounds. But nothing's going to matter as much as these free throws. Big bucket. Well, and UCLA has to make sure to block out, too. If she were to miss them, you don't want Washington State to come up with an offensive rebound. Huge buckets. Obviously, UCLA needs a three. It makes it even bigger if they're able to pull it off without Charlie, Charlie Sledger Walker. Charisma Osborne, ball in her hands. Kiki Rice up for three. It's off the mark. Murica Tete tips the ball. Bruins will get another chance with eight seconds remaining in the game. I think if you're Washington State and you're going to choose someone on the floor right now for UCLA to shoot a three, I think Kiki Rice is who you will choose. So they're doing a, a really nice job of defending the, the highest percentage three-point shooters. I wonder if they'll look to kind of run the same play to the opposite side and try to get London Jones again in the corner. Charisma Osborne. No good Bruins with another chance. Two seconds remaining. Kiki Rice throws it up. Bounces off the rim. And the Washington Cougars take down second-ranked UC.